There's a thunderstorm outside, my bananas are growing bad, and my hair is darker. So let's bake some chocolate chip banana bread. I think this is like the third time I've made banana bread. My bananas are going bad. They look like this. All three of them. Um, and the tops have broken off on all of them. First thing I'm going to do is set my stove to 350 and then um, I'm going to mash bananas. So pretty much the directions are to preheat your oven, combine everything in a bowl, put in a bread pan, and stick in the microwave. Oven. Oven. The first thing I need is two cups of flour. Of course my flour is on the floor. Then you need a tablespoon of baking soda. It's a teaspoon, not a tablespoon. Don't use a tablespoon, use the teaspoon. Half a teaspoon, nope, what is this? A quarter teaspoon of salt. I don't have, do I have? I actually have a quarter teaspoon. Some uh, went in the bowl on its own, so we're just gonna assume that that's, that's correct. I don't really know. It's like a pinch, right? It says butter and then brown sugar, so I'm gonna put the brown sugar in first. You need three quarters of brown sugar. So this is my quarter cup. And then you need half a cup of butter which I did not get out of the fridge. It was melted like two days ago when I first planned on doing this before I went and did something else. Um, and now it's, it's been in the fridge so it's a little solid. I'm just gonna throw this in the microwave for a little bit to melt it, it's very, very solid. All right, so this is better. It's a little bit liquidy and over melted, but that's fine, I'm just gonna mashed up the parts that are still solid just so that they work in better. Before I mix it in, I'm gonna mix the dry ingredients around. That is half a cup of butter. I cut it off of the butter that was in the fridge that mark in the freezer that marks what it is. So now I'm going to put the eggs in. My eggs have a best before date that was two days ago, but it was only two days ago. So I'm going to do this water test to see if they're actually still good. So I'm just going to get my measuring cup because it's clear and I've filled it with water. I need two eggs that have been beaten. So I actually also need a bowl. So the things with the eggs are is you don't actually have a date of when they expire because I mean, the chicken can't tell you. So I have a cup of water here and if it floats, they're fine and I can use them and if they sink or don't even attempt to float whatsoever, then they're bad. And that one's bad. <laughs> Are they all bad? Are we sure sinking means they're... I'm just gonna Google this to make sure that sinking means they're bad. It's been two days, like how are they bad? Maybe I shouldn't have eaten them. Maybe the donuts are bad. Eggs and water. Diet? There's an eggs and water diet? People are only eating eggs and drinking water? God, Google makes me feel, feel for insanity. Boulder eggs. Oh. No, you don't want to use eggs that float. Just fill a, bo a bowl with cold water and place your eggs in the bowl. If they sink to the bottom and lay flat on their sides, they're fresh. If they're a few weeks old but still good to eat, they'll stand on one end. If they float to the surface, they're no longer fresh enough to eat. So my mom's wrong. Okay, so I have a bowl of cold water and it sinks, it's, it's standing up on one end. So it's okay to eat, but let me just see if I can get two that sink right to the bottom and lie flat. So I'm gonna use these two eggs and I'm gonna get egg juice all over my table. And now I'm just gonna beat them, right? Two eggs beaded. And now I'm gonna put my mashed, mushed banana hulls in. It 
says one cup of dark chocolate chips because that's me. I'm gonna do half a cup of peanut butter chips. Ooh, that's not good. Where did it go? I think there's a chocolate chip in our oven now. And then mix that in. And you put it in a pre-greased bread pan. Um, I didn't pre-grease mine. I'm just gonna put parchment paper in it. That's plastic wrap. There's no parchment paper in that drawer. Is it in this drawer? This one's not open. bubbles in my banana bread. Bake it for an hour. An hour? That seems excessive. So it's been just over an hour. I took the bread out at the 45 minute mark and tested it with my cake tester and it needed a bit more time, which I figured because that's what the recipe said. Um, but I just wanted to check it. I didn't want it to like overcook or anything. So it's been about another 15 minutes just to let it cool down. It's been probably actually like 20 minutes. Um, I was watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So I was distracted. So I'm gonna take the bread out of the bread pan. So I'm just, yeah, gonna try a little bit. Definitely not my favorite. It just feels like there's too much brown sugar in it. I don't know, I didn't really like it. I don't really like it and I don't really care to try more of it. That was really weird because the recipe was fairly simple and I followed all the ingredients. Maybe it's just because this is an end piece. Well, that sucks. I'm not like crazy about it. The banana bread I made before I wanted to eat all of it. If you like bananas, give this video a thumbs up. I love bananas. I used to be allergic to them, but I'm not anymore. And now that's the only fruit I eat. <laughs> I don't know how to end this video because usually I'm excited and I tell you to make the recipe, but I'm not excited. And you might want to use the other recipe I made. Again, I don't really know how to end this. So I'm just gonna wave and walk away.